In this video, I'd like to show you how to write the equation to match the data that you see in a data table. So this data table has a series of x and y values. There's no story here. This isn't miles per hour or dollars per day. It's just y's and x's. So I want to write the equation that will model what the y value would have to be after a certain number of x's. And uh, the first thing we should do is uh, this is looks like it's going to be a linear relationship, but we should confirm first that the values in this table are changing at a constant rate. So let's see, when I increase the x, it looks like here the x's are increasing by 3. The y values increase from 3 to 15, which is an increase of 12. When I add another 3 x's, I get another 12 y's. 15 plus 12 is 27. When I add another 3 x's, 3 plus 3 is 6, I add another 12 y's. So all through this table, I've got this constant pattern of uh, 12 y's for every 3 x's. Or if I'm going to get the rate of change, the rate of change is the change in y divided by the change in x. Or on a graph, this would be rise divided by run. So my change in y is 12. My change in x is 3. So 12 y's for every 3 x's is the same as 4 y's for every 1 x, or just 4. My rate of change is 4, or 4 y's for every extra x. Now I've confirmed that this is a constant rate of change. This is going to be a linear equation, and so I can write my equation in this form. y is equal to mx plus or minus b, or if I turn it around, y is equal to b plus or minus mx. And in this equation, I've got y's and x's, which are the uh, points in the data table. And the m and the b are, b is your beginning point, the beginning point, and the m is your rate of change, or the slope of the line, if you were to graph these. Uh, so how do we get these? So we've already gotten the rate of change. So if I'm writing this equation, I know my m is equal to 4, the rate of change is 4, how do I get the b, the beginning point? If this were a story, like miles per hour or something like that, I know y would be my miles and x's would be hours, and the beginning of the story would be when x is equal to 0. This would be 3 hours into my story and 6 hours into my story. This would be 3 hours before my story began. So the beginning of the story is at time zero. Right there is the beginning. Sometimes people are tempted to just take the first value they see in the table, but they, you need to make sure you're always choosing the value of y when x is zero. That's the beginning of your story. So when x is zero, my beginning point is 15 y's. And so now I can write my equation. y is equal to the beginning point of 15 plus 4 y's for every x, the rate of change, 4 times x. Or if you'd prefer, you can rewrite it, rearrange it as 4x plus 15. But this is the equation that will model or match up with this uh, data table. Let's look at one more example. Again, let's confirm that this is a linear relationship. Let's make sure there is a constant rate of change. And it looks like here, I'm going, x is going from negative 3 to negative 1, which is an increase of 2. And when I, when I see an increase of 2x's, it looks like the y's are decreasing by 4. 20 minus 4 is 16. I'm adding 2x's subtracting 4 y's. When I add 2 more x's, looks like I lose 4 more y's. So again, that rate of change is going to be the change in y divided by the change in x. I'm losing 4 y's every time I gain 2 x's, which means I'm losing 2 y's when I gain 1 x, or just negative 2 
lose two y's every time I gain one x. So I know now when I'm I know this is a constant rate of change. So my equation is a linear equation which will take this form. And I know that my m, my rate of change, is equal to negative 2. I lose two y's for every 1x, but now I need to get the b, the beginning point. Remember, in, if this were a story, the beginning point is time 0, or the value when x is equal to 0. But the trouble with this data table is 0 isn't in there. So, not to worry, I know 0 would fall between negative 1 and positive 1. So I need now to figure out what the value of y would be that would go with 0. And I can see here that when I add 1x, I already know that I take away 2y's. So 16 minus 2 gets me to 14. Or if 0 is halfway between 1 and negative 1, 14 is halfway between 12 and 16. So right there is my beginning point of 14. And I'm ready to write my equation. y is equal to negative 2 times x plus 14. Or if you prefer to rearrange it, the beginning point of 14 minus 2 times x. So there's your equation. There's how you can write an equation to match up with the data in a data table. You got to get your rate, which is the change in y divided by change in x change in y divided by change in x, then you need to get the beginning point, which is the value of y when x is equal to 0.